coming up on this edition of Disney with Washington. Disney Enchantment debuts October 1st. Disney Cruise Line sails again from Florida. World's Most Magical Celebration Banners come to Feature World. Zach Ridley gives us a first look inside the new Club Cool. Olaf and Bruni sharing gold statue in Disney's Fat 50 character collection. Walt Disney Imagineering wrapping up construction. Simba will join the Disney Fat 50 character collection. Biometric fingerprint scans resume. Target to add Disney store shops. The Princess and the Frog retheming of Splash Mountain. Guests may purchase Disney Plus beginning at midnight the day of their visit. Nemo and Dory statue come to Disney's Animal Kingdom. And Marvel releases a new action pack trailer for Shang-Chi. Let's hit that music. How's it going guys? It's me Steve and welcome to Disney with Washington. Let's get into some news. Disney Enchantment is an all new spectacular that inspires everyone to believe in magic with cultivating Disney music, enchantment lighting, immersive projection effects that extend from the first time down Main Street USA and an emotional original song entitled You Are the Magic by seven time Grammy winner Philip Lawrence. And throughout the show, stunning fireworks fill the sky, providing a great experience for guests throughout the park and neighboring resort hotels. Mark Renfro, show director of Disney Live Entertainment said, since opening day in 1971, dazzling fireworks shows have provided that perfect exclamation point at the end of a fantastic day at Magic Kingdom Park. From fantasy in the sky and wishes to holiday spectaculars and happily ever after, each show has raised the bar and the best is yet to come. I can't wait for everyone to see what we're creating with Disney Enchantment. In Disney Enchantment, we join dreamers like Tiana, Miguel, Rapunzel, and brothers Ian and Barley from Onward, and we set out on an incredible journey with adventures such as Moana, Rhea, and Judy Hobbs. Joe Gardner from Disney and Pixar Soul take us into the zone where we discover a whimsical world inspired by the style of legendary Disney artist Mary Blair and filled with beloved characters from classic stories like Beauty and the Beast and Alice in Wonderland to contemporary tales including Luca and Wrecked Ralph. Everything builds to a climactic moment as Tinkerbell takes flight, spreading shimmering gold pixie dust and empowering us all to believe in ourselves and the magic all around us. Disney Enchantment features characters, moments, and music from dozens of Disney and Pixar animated films. The show takes us beyond the ordinary to a land of magic where we're swept up in a world of wonder filled with friendship, love, and fun. Through it all, we'll discover we only have to look within to find the power to believe and make dreams come true because the magic was inside of us all along. The Disney Dream marked their long-awaited return to cruising in the U.S. recently when it embarked on its first tropical voyage to the Bahamas from Point Canaveral. It was a special time for the Disney cast and crew who were excited to welcome back their guests to make memories with Disney once again. As always, the Disney dream is overflowing with fun and excitement, including appearances by beloved characters, enchanting Broadway-style musicals, and fireworks at sea. Tailored to their times and presented with multiple layers of health and safety protocols in place, this was also the first time they welcomed guests to their newly enhanced terminal at Port Canaveral. The Art Deco inspired building recently received a sprinkle of pixie dust to help improve the overall boarding experience 
from the moment the guests arrived. New terminal features include an extended covered walkway for arrivals, expanded terminal entrance, and a new passenger bridge, as well as refresh interior touches throughout. Let's take a look at the magic. Disney Cruise Line is ready to welcome you back. We have reimagined the cruise experience. With your comfort in mind, while keeping the magic alive, both on board and on land. Our cast and crew are ready, and we know you are too, to hear those words that signal something truly magical is about to begin. Welcome aboard. have begun to be installed around Epcot to promote the world's most magical celebration, Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. The design used at Epcot is different from the version we have seen at the Magic Kingdom with blue making an appearance in place of the pink. There are two versions at Epcot with one design inside the park featuring Spaceship Earth elements. Outside the park, at the arrival area, the Spaceship Earth Triangles are not used. The 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World begins October 1st, 2021 and will continue for 18 months. Imagineer Zach Ridley has shared a first look at the new Club Cool opening soon at Epcot. Zach said on Instagram, Club Cool is nearly back at Epcot and in that process of becoming I'm proud to share a sneak peek at the new facade and marquee from the building this morning. This new portal features some fun touches that tie to Epcot and Coca-Cola's design legacy. The Club Cool marquee uses our Epcot World Bold font and looks amazing in bright coke red. The facade was inspired by classic green hued glass Coca-Cola bottles and features the iconic Coca-Cola logo fully integrated into the dynamic design. When complete, this will be a can't-miss destination. Club Cool will reopen along with the Creation Shop this summer in the New World Celebration area of Epcot. According to Disney, Club Cool hosted by Coca-Cola will celebrate Coca-Cola in a fresh new way while keeping the fan favorite experience that invites you to explore tasty drinks from around the world. The space will also have some new magic to bring the global experience of Coca-Cola to life for you. Olaf and Bruni from Frozen 2 will be sharing a goat statue at Epcot as part of the Disney Fat 50 character collection for the world's most magical celebration. Their statue was announced by Jennifer Lee Chief Creator Officer of Walt Disney Animation Studios. Let's check it out. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Lee, Chief Creative Officer of Walt Disney Animation Studios. One of the great joys in telling a new story in a familiar world is the rare opportunity it affords us to reunite with old friends and make new ones. In Frozen 2, that meant forging an unlikely friendship between a fiery salamander and a fun-loving snowman. Since returning to a favorite vacation destination is also a chance to spend time with friends old and new, it's fitting that Olaf and Bruni will each be part of the new Disney Fab 50 character collection at Walt Disney World Resort in honor of the 50th anniversary. Beginning October 1st, look for their sculpture at Epcot during the world's most magical celebration. From Olaf, Bruni, and everyone in Arendelle, happy 50th Walt Disney World. A new permit indicates that Walt Disney Imagineering is removing their trailers and other utilities 
from the construction site of Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. This means that construction is likely wrapping up, at least on the exterior of the hotel. Here's a recent look at the hotel building taken by BioReconstruct on Twitter. Once construction is complete, there will likely be months of tests and rehearsals for cast members. Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser will be opening in the spring of 2022. A gold statue of young Simba from The Lion King will be part of the Disney Fat 50 character collection celebrating 50 years of Walt Disney World. L. Steven Taylor, who plays Mufasa in The Lion King on Broadway, announced Simba's statue on Disney Parks Blog's Instagram story. Simba will be displayed at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Let's take a look again. Hi everyone, I'm L. Steven Taylor and I play Mufasa in The Lion King on Broadway. I'm thrilled to announce that Simba from the original animated classic will soon be sculpted at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park for the world's most magical celebration. Happy 50th Walt Disney World. Biometric fingerprint scanning has resumed at Disney's Animal Kingdom. To enter the park, you must place your finger on the scanner after tapping in with your ticket or magic man. Biometric scanning also returned to Disney's Blizzard Beach water park and it is expected to be seen rolled out to the rest of the park soon. In the wake of the news of more Disney stores closing nationwide, Target has announced its Disney store shops will come to 160 more U.S. locations. Originally announced in 2019, Target has added a dedicated Disney store section to 65 locations across the country. Now, 160 more stores will receive this addition. The areas included expanded merchandise, including bubble wands, plush, clothing, and even select items from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. A list of stores receiving the new Disney Store shops has yet to be announced. The Target Disney Store is also online. To kick off the celebrations for World Princess Week, Disney has released more details about the upcoming Princess and the Frog retheme of Splash Mountain at both Disneyland and the Magic Kingdom. Imagineers are working on developing the new concept and divulge some of the behind the scenes inspirations. The Disney Parks blog said Tiana is an ambitious and resilient woman who proves that success comes through a connection to her family and community and has learned to never lose sight of what's really important, giving back to others through great food and inspiring them to achieve their full potential. The attraction will bring new music inspired by the film soundtrack. It will feature new characters alongside the characters from the animated movie. Imagineers visit Dookie Chase Restaurant in New Orleans whose founder, Leah Chase, inspired Princess Tiana. Imagineer sat down with Leah's daughter, Stella Chase Reese, to talk about Tiana's influence. Stella Chase Reese, who shared that two coming together, music and food, brings joy and happiness to all, and isn't that the truth? Know that the park's blog. Imagineers discuss the attraction in which Tiana invites us to go on an adventure in the bayou. Guests will be active participants who meet new characters and are addressed by Tiana. The adventure ends with the ultimate Mardi Gras party. Disney has confirmed to travel agents that guests will be able to purchase the Genie Plus service beginning at midnight on the day they visit at a Walt Disney World theme park. That being said, reservations to use the lighting lane for specific attractions will begin at 7 a.m the same day. Purchasing Genie Plus early has no bearing on attraction availability. It's unclear if the same policy will be applied to the Disneyland Resort. Disney Genie Plus will sell for $15 per day at Walt Disney World and $20 per guest per day at the Disneyland Resort. Additional high demand attractions will be available for an additional fee. The standard Disney Genie service, which includes personalized recommendations based on attraction wait times, 
but not lightning lane access will be free to all guests. The service, which replaces the complimentary Fast Pass Plus system at Walt Disney World, has proven to be unpopular with many. However, not by me. I love the concept and I can't wait to see all facets of it. On the official Cruise Line Twitter account, Cruise Director Jimmy Lynette revealed the newest Fat 50 Golden Statue set to be installed at Disney's Animal Kingdom for Walt Disney's World's 50th anniversary in October. Nemo and Dory from Disney and Pixar's Finding Nemo will be immortalized as part of the Fat 50 character collection coming to the theme parks of Walt Disney World. The two fish are seen floating above some coral, which serves as the base of the statue. Nemo and Dory will join Nemo and Dory will join Timon and Pumbaa and Simba at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Let's take a look again. Hi everyone, I'm Jimmy Linen, a cruise director with Disney Cruise Line. To say our cast and crew have missed sailing with you would be an understatement. But as our favorite forgetful fish taught us, when life throws us challenges, it's best to just keep swimming. So as we all reunite and once again explore this big blue world together, I am thrilled to announce that Nemo and Dory from Disney and Pixar's Finding Nemo films will soon be part of the Disney Fab 50 character collection at the Walt Disney World Resort as part of its 50th anniversary. Look out for their sculpture at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park beginning October 1st and throughout the world's most magical celebration. From Nemo, Dory, and everyone eager to just keep swimming, happy 50th Walt Disney World. With less than two weeks until its release in theaters, Marvel has released a brand new trailer for Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Marvel Studios' Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings opens in theaters on September 3rd. I have not seen this trailer yet, so let's watch it together. Hey, can we get real for a second? We've been friends for 10 years. I know that you don't like to talk about your life, but a guy with a freaking machete for an arm just chopped our butts in half. DJ Snake. Who are you? Run it. Only make a major move. My father trained me to be the Ten Rings' greatest weapon. On the road to riches, I can never lay around. But that's not who I am. Me against the world, I got my back against the wall. How did you find me? I always know where my children are. Me against the world, I got my back against the wall. Seems like a nice fella. It's time to show the world. No, I'm hellbound. Oh, but I'm well now. Oh, who I really am. No one will ever stop. Product of all who came before you. If I die, it's your fault. Man, you leave in town. Say you're married to the game, and I'm just here to burn it down. I must stop him. Hell yeah. Shang. 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 S-H-A-N-G. Shang. That's what I said. Oh, you can turn it up? Yeah, you can hear me. Ready. Marvel Studios Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings in theater September 3rd. Wow. That, that's as good as the new No Way Home Spider-Man trailer. I'm not going to discuss that because... Spider-Man No Way Home is a S Sony distributed film, not by Disney. It's 
a gray area. I'm not going to go into that for this channel. Thank you guys for all your love and support. The channel is growing, so let's keep it up. I enjoy giving you news about all things Disney. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. For more content, subscribe to my Instagram, which is Disney with Washington, where we've hit 3,500 followers. Speaking about Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have noticed that I said that I would show something to the YouTube channel when it came in. If you watch any previous videos of mine, you would have known that I said that I was going to introduce something to the channel as well. So, here it is. The 50th Anniversary Spare Jersey. And here is the back. You guys, you don't, you don't understand how long I've been waiting for this. I am so excited. The, the 50th is less than, uh, I don't know how many days, but it's almost here within a blink of an eye. It's less than a month and a week away. I am super excited for it to come here. It's, it's going to be great. Okay. Also, check out my Spotify playlist for some great Disney Tunes geese. Today's shout out goes to Mini Photo. Their channel is based on all things Disney. There are DVC and AP members who share their adventures around the parks. The link to their channels are down in the description section. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who follows my content through Instagram, YouTube, and Spotify. Let's walk down Main Street USA to like, share, and subscribe to Disney with Washington. Thanks again for the support. And remember guys, there's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. <laughs>